Hello you guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, add a key, uh, but you guys can do it with an old key lost. Um, in this case it's a 2021 uh, GMC Sierra. Um, make sure you connect it to the uh, internet and you can put the hazard lights on. Um, in this case we're just going to put the ignition on. But if it's an old key lost, then it's going to be the same. The car will put the ignition for you. So putting the ignition on on a GMs is just uh, pressing the push to start for 12 seconds. And we're going to go to IMMO. GM. In this case, we're going to go automatic selection. We're just going to hit the read button. But if it's an all key lost, you can just press the push to start once and then you press the read. So it's going to read it for you uh, regardless if you have a key or not. And in this case, we're just going to put Sierra. And it's 2020 to 2023 smart key. It's an old model. Again, it's uh, using this kind of key. If it was the knife shape, um, the can of the style, it's going to be the, the new model. So we're just going to hit old model. And we're going to go emo status scan. And we're just going to press yes. But if it's in case in Oculus, you're just going to hit it once and then press OK. So it's going to be exactly the same uh, procedure. So in this case, we're just going to hit add smart key. And it's going to do everything in one motion, uh, reading the pin code and doing all the good stuff. So we're just going to hit yes for reading the pin code. We need to have network, so we're just going to hit yes. And then you hear the car uh, go off and on. Okay, so the pin is being displayed. We're just going to take a photo of that and we're just going to hit OK. Uh, we can clear the DTC. It's always a good thing. Um, at this point, I always like to open the driver window. Shut the door so we can stop the beeping. And then we want to start the learning process. So we're going to hit yes. And then what we should do is we're going to turn the ignition to off. And we're going to hit OK. We're going to take the new key. And in this case, let me just show you guys where is the armrest, uh, where is the slot. So it's just going to be that area. And we're just going to place the key all the way on the bottom. We're going to take the old key outside from the car and then we're just gonna shut the door back and we're gonna hit ok and the code is displayed already but if not you can always put that because you got it already and then the ignition is off so it's already off and now the ignition came on without the key and now we're going to be waiting uh, 10 minutes. It says 12 minutes, but uh, we're going to wait uh, 10 minutes. And then uh, we're going to go into programming. So I'm going to get back with you in 10 minutes. So we're almost about uh, in the 10 minutes. And to see that everything goes well, after 10 minutes exactly, the security light uh, will go off. And then exactly it's going to go into programming mode. Um, also in the new uh, versions, such as this, um, you need to have internet um, connection all over. So uh, also in this part of the job. So make sure you guys uh, don't walk too far with your phone or something like that. So you don't lose that. So in a couple seconds, the security light should go off. 
and then the cluster uh, will start getting into position by saying uh, ready for remote three. Um, as you can see, it happened, and the screen changed as well. So now it's going to test the internet again. And now it says remote, ready for remote three. We're just going to press the push start once. And we're going to see that the change is to four. And <clears throat> you can already reach the key in this point. <clears throat> and you can make sure that the unlock and lock works. Uh, because let's say if you generated a key and you're not sure about the, the, like if the frequency was right, if there was like two options for that vehicle, so you're better off testing the remote now, because now it's going to ask us if we want another key, so because we know it's good, we're just going to hit no, and now we're going to be asked to shut the ignition to off, and now to get it off from position, we're just going to press the push to start for 12 seconds. Yeah. After 12 seconds, we're going to release the button. And now the key is not in the slot. And we're just going to press the push to start for 12 seconds to see if the car starts. It comes to on position and the security light goes away so we know that the job is perfectly done so as you can see it went away now we're just going to shut the ignition to off and now we can really start the car with pressing the brake and starting the car and that's it this is how you do add a key. And again, all key lost will be almost the same um, for the GMC Sierra 2021 that using this style key. And technically all those GMs using uh, those kind of keys on the push to start in those kind of years. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.